Hello and welcome to another Daddy James Films .webs.com video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to permanently delete files from your hard drive and erase your hard drive with a program called Eraser. Okay, here we go. Now in this program, I'm teaching you uh, about a program called Eraser. It's really a must-have program. What this program does, it erases all your personal information, everything, so that nobody would not be able to recover it with a recovery software tool. Um, it pretty much overrides, the inf uh, overrides it over and over and over and over so that nobody would be able to recover the, uh, whatever you have on your computer. Uh, the reason why you would do this is if you're planning on selling your computer or giving it away to somebody, uh, that way you, can, uh, you will not have no personal information on here. Uh, eraser comes with uh, two different programs on it. Uh, um, one of the programs is basically is an eraser, and the other one is called uh, Newt Boot Disk. And Newt Boot Disk, basically, what that does is pretty much erases everything on your hard drive. Um, uh, it erased everything on the Windows operating system, all your personal files and everything off of it. Uh, that's what you want to use before you reinstall Windows onto your computer. Now this part this part of the application I'm going to show you here is called Eraser. And uh, like I said, what Eraser do is take any files that you want to delete and permanently delete it so that you couldn't uh, recover it ever. Uh, this is what this program right here does. To get this program, what you're going to do is open up your Firefox browser and you are going to go to, go to Google and in Google you're going to type in Eraser. After you do that, you click on search and you can either one, download it from uh, Heidi, Internet Security and Privacy or you can go down to one of the other ones you feel more comfortable or downloading from like I like to download from CNET and once you do that uh, you can click right here to download or you can go ahead and scroll down here and read a little bit about it and see what the reviewers are saying so far what I see right here they all giving it five stars and then what you do you click here to download there you go I'm going to save file click to where I want to download it at I want to go to desktop and then save. I'm going to hit console because I already have it. And then once you get it, uh, it'll be like a little install. I ain't got it on here because I already got it installed. And basically what you do from there is just install it, you know. Just click next, next, next. After you install it, uh, this window right here is going to pop up. Um, right now I'm not going to show you anything on this window. I'm going to show you one thing before I show you about this part right here and I'm going to use the recycling bin to show you and right now I got a blank document I'm going to go ahead and put it in my, in my recycling bin to you know put something in my recycling bin now normally when you right click on a cycling bin you see right here empty recycling bin okay with eraser you have a few different choices here as you can see now the best one that you want to use is the 35 pass Gutman um, mostly it's like uh, it's what the Department of Defense use whenever they uh, decide that they want to erase their hard drive and stuff um, uh, but they use like 35 pass government as well uh, now don't get me wrong you're not erasing your hard drive you're just erasing this file off of your hard drive so that you cannot be recovered now remember if you do this method method there's no way that you can recover this with a recovery software tool so make sure that you want to delete what you put what you put in this uh, recycling bin because you will not get it back. Uh, but from there you just hit that. Now it's going to ask you if you want to delete that. Yes. Now this right here is going to come up and it's going to tell you the process. After that you're going to get a racing report, report come up. Now in this racing report it will tell you uh, everything that is done and plus right here you know what part of it failed uh, there's a couple of parts of it failed. I don't really know why uh, my guess is it seemed like it failed three times out of 35 so that's still pretty good I guess because maybe there wasn't enough to really do anything 
which should be fine it still worked so from there we're going to close it out now I'm going to show you what this other part is okay to work with this basically what this do is it got like three uh, three things you can do on here uh, right now I just have two things on here um, I think there's a third thing called shell extension and I'll tell you a little bit about that one when I finish telling you about these first of all, I'm gonna click on on demand now, on demand basically means that you take uh, any folder or or a file and just drag it over there like I'm gonna show you right here these are empty files and empty text anyhow I got them over here now what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and go to edit select all and it's going to select both of them okay now I wanted to erase now you're thinking well let's hit delete no do not hit delete you got to go right here where it says run and click on that or you can right click and go down to run when you click on that this right here is going to pop up basically asking are you sure yes I'm sure and remember like on the recycling bin if you uh, erase it from here it's gone forever click yes and there you go it's off of there and it went pretty quick now if you have a large file it can take a while to do if you have a really large file it can take a little while to do uh, these was like really small files so it, you know it just took a second and as you can see right here there was no errors in it okay I'm running out of time here but uh, I'm gonna quickly tell you about the scheduler the schedule is this one right here and to make a schedule you just go to file new task and um, you can uh, create a folder that you want to be constantly deleted all the time if you want or just a file or just files in folder uh, and this is the schedule part and this is the files right here you want to put this as number one as Gutman um, this part right here where uh, if you just leave this right here it'll pretty much uh, delete any unused space in your drive uh, also when you do this right here it's going to do uh, the run and then tell you when the next run and how is the scheduled every day and that's it for uh, the scheduler one now, now the last thing I'm going to tell you about is the program that comes with it and um, I said it in the beginning which was uh, Newton boot now if you go to start all programs look for a racial file and go down to where it says create boot disk you click on that and you will need a thumb drive to do this with um, or a floppy disk uh, if you want to use a floppy disk it's fine the thumb drive it's fine it's just a real small file anyways uh, so either one of them will use it uh, uh, and then you just pretty much you know pick where it's at you know normally if you have a thumb drive in it'll let you know right here and then you click install now when you go when you go to the computer that you want to completely erase that's what you want to use that program for is to completely erase a hard drive that way nothing at all is on it not the Windows system not nothing uh, and then from there you end up reinstalling Windows on it uh, but that's what you want to use that program for and make sure it's on a computer that you're planning on not using that you're planning on giving it away to somebody because once you delete that stuff you cannot recover it okay but to use this program you need to uh, put the thumb drive in your computer uh, restart your computer and from there you need to go into your uh, CMOS setup utility uh, or your boot menu and um, select go to the boot options and select boot from you know your USB drive um, or if you if you have a boot menu just you know go to your boot menu and select it to boot off the USB and that's pretty much how you do it and just pretty much follow along with uh, with the program and stuff hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you and have a nice day